they have been rejected by their husbands, their family, in midlife and they have nowhere to go. And they just wander the streets and that's it. They need somebody. My name is Helen Luzzi and I am the executive director and founder of the Sophia Way. The Sophia Way is a shelter and housing program for homeless women. And what we do is we really try to educate people that homelessness is a circumstance that people experience and that we try to help our clients move from survivalship to how do they want to really live their life. We needed before, is this your just first event? needed in the last shelter that I was in. The highest growing population in the area for homelessness is elderly women. So women over 51 to as old as 83 are common in our shelter and there is no services for them at all. So there was no place for them to even get a resource, let alone, let alone spend the night. We do have two shelters. We have um, Sophia's Place, which is our programmatic shelter, and that's where we invite women in and they have a guaranteed bed every night and they have case management. Then we have Sophia's Home, which is our housing program. The women that we deal with, they're very, very lonely, depressed, and some of them just can't live in private apartments. So people have each other to come home to, you know, and that gives them a companionship. The ones that are out in apartments don't have that special effect. Finding out what each woman needs in her life, what kind of support and resources she needs, and adding that on to the program. So we're really growing based entirely on the client's needs instead of what we think would be the best solution to homelessness. I've been on the street. I lived in the back of a van for a while um, that was loaned to me. Um, different churches had turned me away. So it was unbelievable that I actually had a place to sleep, uh, a hot meal. But the resources here are, are what opened the doors for me to get back on my feet. We really look and see hard to find out what are the barriers in your life that are keeping you from getting to the destination you want to go. Is it mental health? Is it a physical disability? Is there um, an addiction issue, which is about 20% of our population? Um, what is it that you need? We have life skills program. So we have people coming in to talk about um, finances and nutrition, um, meditation, all kinds of topics. The amount of volunteerism has really driven the organization. I get to talk to people in the community who maybe don't know that much about homelessness and actually get to enrich their lives as well by connecting them to the need and the, the reality of what's going on in their backyard. They've been abandoned. They've been abused. Um, no one is supporting them the way they were supported for years. We care and we carry that out. We just don't dump them and leave them. You know, we don't throw them out, we help them. It really just inspires me to see that they have, um, they keep on keeping on, they keep on going. And so for um, the complaints of life that any of us have uh, next to that, I mean, it just inspires me, it just really does.